Hi everyone. I thought I would just share a little video with you today since I haven't been doing a lot of crafting and it is August and I like to get a lot of my flowers made and things ready for my cards. And so I started making the poinsettias that I do every year and I thought I would show you a very fast and a uh, very fast way to make these. And this is one that is already finished. And you can do these in any color you want. The whole point of today is just to show you how I do mine. Um, they just don't take any time at all. So I'm gonna show you what I use first of all. Let me set that aside. For the center of the flower, I use pearls and I get these at Heartfelt Creations online. And I believe these are, I don't know what color, does she even put on? Let us, uh, let us entertain you. And what they are is they're just tiny little beads, just like this. And I use a little spoon and I just take it out and I put them in the center of the flower. So that's the green that you saw in the center of the poinsettia. Then I use the uh, Distress Ink, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And this is just for mine. You can do whatever color you want it. This, this technique works for all of them, I any, any color you want. This is called Victorian Velvet. This one is Colorbox um, Fluid Chalk, and I do like the chalk uh, better than the ink when I'm layering. It blends a whole lot better for me. If you use whatever you have. To stamp, I use the Memento Rich Chocolate. And whenever I'm stamping, I use a thick foam pad so that I don't have to make any mistakes by re-stamping or not getting the, uh, the ink all over my image. Then I use this shaping tool by McGill. And that's all it is right there. It's just different tools that you can shape your flowers with, but we're gonna show you an easy way to do it. And here's the shaping mat. I did use the Spellbinders die that I got from Heartfelt Creations a long time ago at a scrapbooking expo. And this one is called Layer Poinsettia. I'm not sure if they still have it, but most of you have, if you do a lot of crafting for Christmas, you have uh, dies and stamps for your uh, Christmas cards. And actually this is what it looks like here. And there's several different sizes that come into it. And you just stamp it out and then cut it out. I use a very, very heavy cardstock. I can't tell you what weight this is, but it does have a texture on it. And I like this better for the flowers because they maintain their shape and they are really pretty stiff once you uh, die cut them out. We're going to use a 3D Floral basic Shaping Mold, which that's what this is right here. And then I use these little doppers here. And I've had these for years and years and years. Again, I got them probably in 2008 at the Scrapbooking uh, Expo. So that's about it, other than my little pokey tool that I use to get my paper out of my die cuts. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how I um, actually color these because that's what we're doing here today. And it's so easy. I take a blank piece of paper, first of all, because I color my die cuts right on the paper before I cut them out. So, and in this case, what happened was I had already uh, colored some and I thought, you know, I'm going to just show everybody how I do it. So I'm going to put that aside and use it a little bit later. And I'm going to take my heavy cardstock again, which is this right here, and it's textured, and I'm going to lay it down on my paper here. And let's go ahead and stamp, we'll stamp this one out. Uh, actually, the bigger one will be easier for you to see. And I do all the flowers the same way. So I'm going to place it on here, and I'm going to just take my Memento ink. And again, this color is rich cocoa, and I think most of you have that as well. And I'm just gonna lay it down and stamp it. And I usually can get, like I showed you here, I can get two, uh, two of the big ones and one of the little ones on here. So there it is. And see how nice and even that is when you use one of these, uh, these pads here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my first color, which is uh, the Victorian Velvet and my little dauber and I take that and I go all over the image and what I like about doing this and not cutting them out first 
is you can just make a mess here and it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be, you know, right on target. So that's it right there. Put it, my dauber back. I'm going to take my darker dauber out. Cover that up. And I'm going to now use the um, Berrylicious, which is actually chalk. And I'm going to dab a little bit of that off. And just randomly, you just doesn't really matter where you put this. See that? You just kind of dab it around. It's just such a pretty color. But I've done these in different colors. Even the blue is beautiful. And I'm going to just kind of dab a little bit kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to come back with my lighter color again. And that's what I'm talking about when I said I like to use the chalk ink for blending. So I'm taking the Distress Ink again, and now I'm going to go back to kind of blend that in better. Looks like I'm running out of that ink there. I'm going to have to get some more. And doesn't that look like a mess? Okay, cover that up. Get that in there. We're going to die cut that out. And I just take my die cut and I lay it on top here very carefully. That's sometimes the hardest part is to line this die up, but there it is. And they actually have better dies now that they're, there's like several on one stamp. And you just lay the, the die cut down and it, it just always matches. But I have these and I'm not about to buy more because these darn things are so expensive. No matter whose you buy, they're like 30 bucks. My in camera, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. And I do use a Vagabond. That is my favorite machine, always has been. I have about five cutting machines and I always go back to this one. And it takes up less space on my table too. So we're going to cut that out, and you'll see just how easy this is to color and cut out and shape. Okay, so there it is. Let's get this tape off. Hope I'm not boring anybody too much. I'm not usually one to do these kind of videos, because I like short videos, as you all know. I'll watch your nice long videos, but I don't like to make short videos. I'm going to take my little pokey tool and just drop that out. Look at how pretty that is. See that? And this is what you're going to end up with when we're done. Now the next thing that I do, and I do, like I said, I do a whole tray of these at once. You're going to take your flower. If you have one of these, if not, I'm going to show you how to shape them without it. I'm going to put that upside down and you're going to get your little spritzers. This is called a mini mister and I think everybody has them. Pretty much anybody that does crafts has them. a little mister. We're going to seal this up just like that. What this does is instead of you having to work to form that flower and uh, shape it, it really does take the work out of it. I still do a little shaping on mine, but it takes a lot of the shaping out that, you know, sometimes can take a while. And then a lot of times, oh, I don't like it, and it's not like I like it, and so here it is. I'm hoping that I got that all the way through, I did. And there it is. Look at how that shapes that, that beautiful poinsettia. So I'm gonna set all of this aside. This is where you take your little mat here if you want. You can just leave it like this too. But I like to push the middle down. And I just take one of the tools and I just push, push my flower down in the middle and go up the seam there, a little bit up the, the stem, I guess you'd call it. Just like that. I hope I'm in, in frame here. It's really hard to see. And there you have it. And you layer that until you get what you want, which is this one. 
And see, you can even tell that, that this is more, this is darker than this one. So you can just keep layering and layering. Here's another one here that I can put on top of that one. And then I have smaller ones here as well that I've already done that I have to send through uh, the little, um, through this little thing here. But that's all there is to it. The coloring is very easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.